Hey guys, what's going on? Today I wanted to share how to shoot a real estate video by taking you behind the scenes with me on an actual shoot to show you how I shoot it, what I use, and how I put it all together. So right off the top, a lot of people wanna know how much can you charge for a real estate video? Well, typically I'll charge between $1,000 to $2,500, but it really depends on the client. A lot of people probably think that they can charge a lot more because these properties that are being sold are worth millions of dollars, but the reality of the situation is that real estate agents only have limited budgets to create promo materials material to sell these homes. As far as gear goes, I'll always shoot on my Sony a7S II with a wide angle lens. One of my favorites is the 16 to 35 millimeter. Um, I'll also bring a tripod and a slider. I just love using a slider. It's a really easy way to get really smooth kind of dynamic motions. Um, and then I'll also bring some kind of gimbal, which allows me to get a little more dynamic with my movements, travel a little further, and uh, also get a little more creative to add some flair to the videos. So we're gonna pack up the gear and head to the location that we'll be shooting today. So today I'm shooting a 600 square foot apartment. Pretty simple job, but also gonna be getting some shots of the amenities and the area. First thing I do when I get to a job is I'll go through the whole house or whole apartment getting some different slider shots. And typically I like to shoot at around waist level with a wide angle lens just to make the ceilings look nice and high and uh, to maximize your what you're seeing in the shot, especially when you're going through some tight spaces. So I'll go through all the different rooms, getting different kinds of slider shots, making sure that my gear is tucked away and not getting in the shot because that can ruin it and I don't like moving my gear from room to room. Then I'll get out the gimbal and I'll also use a wide angle lens and get a little more creative with the movement, go from one room to the other, use d doors and hallways coming through just to change the angle up and add some more movement. Um, I always like to shoot at that 60 frames per second mark just so I can slow down the footage in post um, if I want to and it just makes things look way smoother and you don't have to worry about warp stabilizers or um, fixing that in post. And then the third thing I do is just get a few tight shots of anything that's really unique in the apartment or the house that you're shooting uh, just to add that variety to your shot. When I'm actually editing, I'll always like to kind of lay in different layers of wide versus tight versus motion. So just having that different option of adding that different element, a tight shot with a wide shot um, just complements your video. <laughs> After I've gone through the property, I've got my slider shots, my gimbal shots, and some different tight shots of the unit. Then I'll go get the amenities if there are any, pool, uh, the gym, yoga studio, whatever else that the building or the property has. And then I'll move out and get shots on the street just to add context to where the unit is and it adds a little bit more flavor to your video and really sells the unit more because a lot of times people do purchase properties based on their location. And that's it, that is essentially the formula that I use to create real estate videos. One thing that I didn't show you today, which I use nine times out of 10 for real estate shooting, is drone footage, which is great for establishing shots and closing shots and also selling an area as well as the unit that's inside. So didn't need that today for this shoot, but would typically use that for apartments, for housing, uh, for vacation properties, just because it adds a whole nother level of production value to your shoots. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.